everybody, it's Dahlia Strada with SEOMeets.com and today we have a tutorial for you about WordPress and how you can add alt text to your images in WordPress um, and why we want to do that. And the reason we want to do that for SEO purposes is because uh, search engine bots uh, that crawl the web and collect the information that search engines present, uh, those bots can't read or get any information from an image. They can only see um, text. They can only process text. So what does that mean? That means that um, if you have uh, text as an image, like so you have a banner um, that has important information on it, the search engine is not going to be able to get that information from that image. It's only going to see the um, it's only going to see the text as in the file name and also if you have the alternative text filled out. So alternative text is a description um, that we give to search engines so that they know what the image is and that can help them decide that our page is relevant for something, for a keyword that we're trying to rank for. Um, so uh, it's really important to fill out the alt tags. Uh, otherwise, if you have a very image heavy site, um, it's going to look pretty sparse to Google because they're not going to get any information about uh, what your page is all about. And that's important for ranking. So let's learn how to do that. And there's two ways to do it. One of them is uh, good for if you have existing images in your media library. Let's say you already have, you know, um, 30 images in your media library that are already on your website and none of them have the alt text filled out. You can come in here and do this really easily through the media library and add your alternative text. So here I'm going to click on media and then I'm going to click on library. Of course, it's my WordPress uh, dashboard. So I click on media and then I click on library. And that's going to take me through here. Um, there's also another way that I'm going to show you in a minute where you can do this much easier as you add images. You can do it. Um, right when you're adding the image and then you won't have to go back and come back and do it. So, okay, so I'm going to pick one of these images. I'm going to pick this one right here. Here, I'll zoom in for you to show where we're going to click. I'm going to click right here where it says edit. This is the image that I'm going to add the alt text to, the alternative text. And I'm clicking right here where it says edit. Okay, great. Okay, so here's the image, and I'm going to scroll down, and underneath the image, you'll see where it says alternative text. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, what should we call this one? Uh, SEO Maids Warrior Robot. Okay, and then I'm going to click up here on this blue button where it says update. And this image is now going to have alternative text. And so when Google um, is crawling the page where this image appears, it's going to know that this image is about what? About uh, SEO Maids Warrior Robot. Right? <laughs> so, of course, if you have a picture of, um, you know, if you're uh, a service-based business, uh, you can name your, your files appropriately. You can also use, um, you can also use your keywords in alternative text fields. So I would li I like to use one image on each page that's using the main keywords as the alt text, and that makes it really easy to uh, to give Google an extra reason to rank you for that for that keyword. You don't want to do it on every image on the page, obviously. We don't want a keyword stuff in our alt tags, um, but you can definitely add keywords to at least one of the alt tags on your for the images on one page. Okay, so let's go. And I'm going to show you a different way to do this. Here we're going to go to plus new post. I'm adding a new post. And what do we do when we add posts? We add um, we add images a lot of times, right? As you're writing the post, you're uploading images that are going to go along with the post. Okay, so I'm going to go to add media. This is my new post. I'm going to go to add media. And then I'm going to go up to upload files. Of course, you guys probably know how to do this already. And I'm going to go to select files. Uh, let me find a good image that I can select up here. Upload for us. Um, let's do this one. I'm going to open it. Okay, so it's uploading. Now, 
as soon as this image uploads into this box, you see over here where there's a lot of different fields um, over to the right here. Let me turn the zoom off. Okay, I have title, caption, alt text, which is of course what we're going to fill out right now, description, and come down here. Okay, okay, so now my image is uploaded. I'm going to go to alt text and I'm going to write in, I know this is a picture of a happy family. Happy family buying a home. Okay, so now my alt text is already filled out even before I drop this image into any uh, post or page on my website. The, that alt text is going to stick with that image um, no matter where I put it. So that's awesome. And I don't have to go back and do that afterwards. The other thing, quick tip, um, you see where this says link to? Here, let me zoom in. Okay, attachment display settings. And it says alignment. Uh, that's where you pick your alignment, of course. But it also says link to. Um, and a lot of times what you see is that the default is media file. And so that image becomes clickable in my post. If I put it in and it's linking to the media file, um, then they're going to be able to click on the media file and they're going to go to a separate page where it's with just the image on it. And I don't really want them to leave the page to go look at images. What I want is, is for everything to, to keep them on the page. Um, so that they can be absorbing my content and I don't want them clicking around um, where they don't need to go. Okay, so I'm going to click here on this down arrow and I'm going to say none. And the only reason that I would ever have an image linking to something is if I want to go to another page. So like a button or um, something that, you know, click here for more information and any of that kind of stuff or a banner that I want them to, to click on so they can go somewhere else. Um, but other than that, there's no real reason for the, the images to link to anything. Okay, so I'm going to insert this into the post, and you're going to see how that's going to work. Okay, I inserted this, this picture. I'm going to look at, I'm going to go to Preview. Oh, it's blocked in my pop-ups. Okay, I'm going to go to preview, and you're going to see how that works um, when you don't link the image to anything. Okay, so here is my post, and of course I haven't filled anything else out. I just put this image into this post. Um, but you can see where I can click on this post, and nothing happens. It's part of the page. It's like it's built in. It's, it's embedded. Um, it's not going to take them anywhere else. And that's a good way to keep traffic from leaking off of your pages. So that's a little bonus tip for you guys. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope that you guys will really start using alt tags and have them all filled out because that's going to help you rank. So um, stay tuned and we'll have more great tutorials from SEO Mates.